The Holy See has become an official observer at the United Nations World Health Organization. The status was adopted on Monday after the WHO's 74th World Health Assembly. The Holy See also has representatives at an observer level at the United Nations offices in Geneva, Switzerland and in Vienna, Austria. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, great to see you. So tell us, uh, what does the Holy See's non-member state observer mean? Good evening, Tracy. Well, the Vatican has been involved with the World Health Organization in one way or another from the very beginning. In fact, Pope Pius XII spoke at the very first assembly when it met in Rome. That was in 1949. But this recognition of the Holy See as a non-member state observer will give the Vatican a stronger, more formal voice when it comes to discussing certain topics and issues at the World Health Organization. For example, the Vatican now has the right to participate in issues that are being debated. It can make into interventions and be put on the list of speakers. But as it is still a non-member observer that is still not a member of the United Nations, it does not have the right to vote or to put forward candidates. So it cannot vote, but it can perhaps now play a more strong influence on the vote of others. And you mentioned the Vatican has already been involved in the World Health Organization before, but exactly what has the relationship been up until this point? Well, Tracy, the World Health Organization, or WHO for short, is a United Nations department that specializes in health. The Vatican City is, of course, its own independent nation state, but it is not a member of the United Nations, as I mentioned. This status that has been granted to the Holy See was voted in on Monday at the World Health Assembly. Italy was the country that put forward the resolution to make the Holy See an observer, and it was passed by consensus, and 71 countries co-sponsored it. It's a recognition and acknowledgement of the role that the church has played over the years in humanitarian and health, particularly more recently during this pandemic. Now, the Holy See press office said that the decision to grant the Holy See this status reflected the relationship that the Holy See has continuously maintained with this organization back as far as 1953. And they said that together, along with the family of other nations, they would work to address the global health challenges that afflict all of humanity. And Colin, before I let you go, do we know what the Holy See will try to achieve with this new status? Well, on the website of the Holy See Mission at the United Nations in New York, they say that their mission is to, quote, advance freedom of religion and respect for the sanctity of all human life. That's from conception to natural death. And speaking about the Vatican's new status, Luigi Di Meo, Italy's Minister of Foreign Affairs, he said that he was convinced the Holy See will bring precious value to the World Health Organization and further strengthen the spirit of solidarity on a global level. He also said that the Vatican's formal presence will be a great inspiration for all member states. Tracy. Okay, Colin, thank you so much for that report. Colin Flynn, EWTN News Rome correspondent. Thank you again. Thank you, Tracy.